Now I have three folders, one with the orc hut, one with the elf area, and one with the forest patch. If I want to move an entire folder, I need to open all of its subfolders and then select the topmost object and then hold down shift. I will then select the bottommost object within the folder. Now I can move it all as one. Now I'm going to put the rest of the groups where I want them. To copy and paste an entire folder, all I need to do is select it and copy and paste. Fuck, where did it go? There it is. <laughs> That's why it's important to pay attention to where you have selected for new objects to go. Now I'm going to select all of the objects in this new folder and move them to where I want them. Now I'm going to do it one more time. I'd like some height in this world, so I'm going to raise up my forest patches so I can get three different levels. Now I'm going to go to the terrain tool set by hitting F9. The terrain tools use a brush that varies in size. Under Actions, you can set what the brush is going to do, such as Add Dirt, which raises the terrain, or Excavate, which lowers the terrain. Adjust Height allows you to drag the terrain up or down. Right now, I'm going to use Set Height, which allows you to define a height under Edit in the Terrain Editor settings. I'm going to set it to 25, so any terrain I bring the brush over is set to a height of 25. I'm now going to set it to 30. And finally, to 40 for the last height patch. Actually, 35 looks better.
I think I want to move the orc hut out of the hill. Using the smooth tool, I can now turn my step world into a round, more organic looking world. The next step is the final placement of the statics on the terrain. Here, I will select objects by groups and move them all closer to the ground, but at some point, each object will need a little placement to make it fit on the terrain as best as possible.
Now that I have everything where I want it, it's time for the last thing, painting the terrain. Once again, I press F9 to go to the terrain tools. And under window, select terrain texture painter. I select the texture and brush size I want and start painting. I'll start off with a beach layer. Then add the rocky hillside layer. And finally, the jungle floor layer. And the final thing we need to do is to save our work. First, I save my terrain. Then, I save my mission file. So, here is my quick little world. If I wanted to spend more time on it, I would fill out the vegetation on the rest of the island. I hope you like this tutorial. Now you can experiment with these tools, make your own missions. <laughs>